I'm just gonna ask you what the last DM you received was. Ooh. <laughs> what, on what? Insta. Ooh. I can't wait <laughs> to see you. Let me check, hold on a sec. <laughs> You I know think, already. I think I know yeah, mine as well. The group chat. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't use group chat on Insta. Oh, no, you don't? No. You've seen a bunch of jokes, man. Oh, like yeah, it was, the group, it was the group chat still. Yeah. What was it? It was you that put it in there. Is it? <laughs> what the let's see, let's see. <laughs> Oh, so what, is it just a girl like showing off her new yeah, boyfriend? Yeah, but she then? raises him up like Zim Simba. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, that could have ended a lot worse, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about in the, um, in the request though? Some guy called Fabs PI said to me, what's good, dog? I saw you at the show in London last set. Y'all had a vibe, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love <Yeah>. that accent. <laughs> when was the last time you lied? Whoa. I must have lied about where I was um, <laughs> on my us? way here, yeah. Uh, but no, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Cause I was on time, you looked so late. We was looking for you, man. Yeah, but I was already here though. Waiting it was you. your fault. Cause he said that, oh, we've got to wait for Nux. So we're there waiting for like 10 minutes. That's what I thought. And I was you. waiting as well. Like what kind of... <laughs> that is cheeky. That is so <laughs> cheeky. Yeah, so it's... I can't remember the last time I lied to you. You're an angel. Yeah. Don't lie, man. Tell what? the truth. You're lying now. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The last time Wizzy lied was three seconds ago on Radar Radio. Okay, okay, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you washed your bed sheets? Um, last month. What? What? Do you stay in your bed every night? No. I'm always in London. Oh, so you don't live in London? No. I thought. I live in Watford. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I grew up in... North okay, got, yeah. got you. That's excusable then. Yeah. It would be definitely really gross if you slept <laughs> in bed every night and you hadn't washed them for a month. Yeah. I don't really stay at home myself, but yeah, it was like a week ago. What is your favourite emoji? It's either the laughing one with the, the tears coming out. Yeah. Or the, that, that one, the okay. okay one. I like to say okay to people. This one? Um, that's not the one in your top. Tell the one that's in your top. <laughs> what? It's, I'm yeah, the cool guy. Or oh, that one. Yeah, the laughing one, isn't it? Oh, what's my frequent? Oh, yeah, oh, like the yeah, one you the, like the most. The guy's laughing, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's not my favourite, though. Why do you yeah, use you it all the time? Like you lot always <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you went on a proper date? What do you mean proper date? I mean, like, not booty calling someone at one in the morning. Like, you go out with a girl. Like, like preparing all that stuff. What what That's other version of a date is there? Like, yo, what's up? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, where you at? Like, cool, let's link up. That's a booty call thing. No, but booty calls okay, when it's okay. late, isn't if, it, right? Okay, if you're meeting up with a girl in like a public space, mm -hmm. let's call that a date and you have intentions. Oh, with intentions. Well, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Stop being so cryptic. Sometimes I just... <laughs> You know, you just cool. I like being around females, in it? It's just like cool. You yeah, but I'm not... asking about a date, you know? All right, a date. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even remember, about two or three months ago, I think. Yeah, I'll say the same still. What about the last time you cried? Snap. It was all like a little kid, man. Really? Yeah, well, my mum beat me, I think. Oh shit. Yeah. That got dark. Like li I was a li little kid, man. No, but I've done something bad, though. You're lying, fam. What? <laughs> You're lying, fam. What do you mean? Nux, you Since you was a day. kid, fam. I cried? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't remember crying recently. <laughs> you must have cried, like, another time, fam, when you was a kid. Yeah, bro, I don't remember cr crying of what. But I don't know, fam. You could have watched a sad film or something. Oh, come yeah, on, come on. You've got to shed a tear yeah. in a sad yeah, film. Not crying like... <laughs> but a tear coming down, come on, fam. Nah, from a film? Are you yeah, telling me you cried from a film? Fam, a tear's come down. I'm a man, I will own that What, fam. what film? <laughs> um, what film? Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't even remember. There was a film that something mad happened, man. And I was just like, yo. Let it out. Yeah, yeah. man, I had to. And there was one single tear that just came, like the, Indi <laughs> like the, the <laughs> Indians. <laughs> you <laughs> didn't even flinch, it just like Yeah, happened. it just rolled down, I was like. <laughs> Uh, you wouldn't want me next to you, would that? 
laughing. I got mad emotional on um, that film with Will Smith and his son. What's it called again? Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. You got emotional. You tell me that. I got emotional. Alright, right, right. right. Yeah. Were your eyes watery? No. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> so I heard a rumor. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, before you released your first project, mm. you were actually sent away to boarding school in Nigeria yeah. for bad behaviour. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Literally what you said, man. Like I was I was bad in that um, year seven, secondary school. And like um, the teachers, like they don't really like to exclude pupils because it looks bad on the like on, mm. the, on paper. So they kind of asked my parents to kind of take me out. And that was like the last straw. <laughs> they, um, I think it was like, it was a summer holiday. And then I went there, I went to Nigeria thinking it was like a trip with my dad and my brother in it. Like they masked it up. Bring oh them really? Up. Yeah. Like Shit, I thought it was you didn't a, even know where you were going. No, I knew I was going to Nigeria, but yeah. I thought it was like a trip. Like I would be coming back. <laughs> a little holiday. Yeah, it was a long holiday. Like I, I stayed there for a year and then came back and then, yeah. How was your boarding school experience? It was tense where like, Were you I, in little dorms with other people? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It was it was it was tense, but You're really well behaved now? Yeah. It it, <laughs> it fixed me. It, it the worked. discipline worked. Yeah. So you dropped your first project was Killmatic, right? Yeah. And was that entirely produced by you? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, man. And I wanna talk about your sample use. Yeah. What kind of inspires the use of those samples? Could you be doing anything and then you think I've got to use that in a track. What what makes me like the individual samples I use? Yeah, like what do you think when you hear these things and where do you discover them? Is it films, like books? Everywhere, so like it could be a film, like I could be literally there's been times where I'm watching a film with someone and then I'm like, yo, pause it. Like, where's that from? I get Shazam out and look for the sample or sometimes I just, um, like I'll be on my laptop and I just look for old music because I, I like to listen to old school jazz and R&B and so I'll listen to like that kind of music and mm -hmm. then I find something I like and I just sample it. That is sick. Yeah, and No Days Off, what is that? Um, is that your tagline? Is it like a label? So it started off as like a tagline that just I used and then um, now it's kind of like a collective with me my cousin T, he does like graphic design and my director Lex mm -hmm. and we just like um, all have a similar kind of taste in music and yeah. stuff and we just do our videos and music all together. I love it. Thank when you. I hear that, I'm like, it's going to be a band. <laughs> We're all Thank right. You. Like say you've actually got a day off mm. for once. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would we find you doing? I like to watch videos, like other people's videos. Mm. Like, that's what I like to do when I my chill out time it's almost like not to say research but like kind of like research yeah because you're still like you're still progressing even when yeah, you're kind of so sitting just, back and enjoying yeah, stuff i just like to see what everybody else is doing and yeah that's what i like to do and am i right in thinking that there was a bit of a gap like between killmatic and then when you had like a series of the tracks with the videos uni was it uni yeah did you fully just take a break from it um or were you still creating still writing you know what it was, yeah? I was meant to actually start when I finished uni, but I think like I made 21 Candles just off a whim. Like it was my birthday. It was like a couple of days before my birthday. And I wrote the song and I recorded it the day before my birthday. And then on my birthday, I released it. And then that song created a buzz. So that was kind of pushing me into the music without me choosing to consciously oh, really? go in. Yeah, so I was actually meant to start after uni, but that pushed me in. So I kept releasing. So after 21 Candles, then Breakfast at Tiffany's came. But if you check, there's kind of like a gap. Yeah. Like a, I don't know, like a five month gap, yeah, six yeah. month gap. That's because I was still at uni. So now that I'm out, the music's going to be more consistent. That's actually really interesting to know because I thought, I didn't know whether it was just because I was kind of like new to London radio and stuff, but mm. I thought there was quite an obvious moment in your music career where mm. suddenly it was like, okay, it's serious, like, go for it. Mm. But you saying that actually when you dropped that video, like, it kind of just got a bit bigger than you expected and yeah. happened on a whim. Well, with the song, it just, it was a whim, but 
from the feedback from the song, we said, okay, let's, let's do this properly. Which directors have you worked with over the past year or two? Because I've seen so many videos from you. Um, mostly I've just worked with um, director Lex, who's under the No Days Off um, name brand that I was telling you about. But before Lex, I worked with um, a director called Niwa K for my first video, which was Told You from the Killmatic mixtape. And then um, on Cannes, I worked with Simon Orks, Wizzy's guy. And yeah, that's, they're the only guys I work with. And you travel a lot for them, right? I feel yeah. like you're in a different country like, every time you shoot a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where have you traveled for the videos? Um, the first, where did I go first? Um, Rome, that's where I wrote From Rome With Love. Um, then we went to, obviously went to Cannes. And I happen to think that you're quite a good actor. Like, yeah. You, yeah, you come across like quite tongue in cheek in the videos, but you, you play to the camera. Mm. And then there's a scene at the end of the Breakfast at Tiffany's video mm. where you're looking at the suit on the mannequin in the window. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like emotional. <laughs> 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 no, but it's amazing because I've, I've watched your other interviews as well. And like, even in, I was actually having a conversation in the office with my colleagues about mm. you, like, and your music and stuff. And we were trying to just think of like the best word to describe you. And we were like, he's just so cool Damn. you're just super cool <laughs> like in the videos just like yeah, yeah cool, <laughs> but yeah as i was saying like there's definitely some acting going on there would I'll, you ever do that like yeah as a serious i wouldn't thing? i wouldn't i wouldn't mind like i, I would want to take like some acting classes to kind of like broaden what i do like i just want to be all i can be in it so mm -hmm. yeah i wouldn't mind doing that in the future that'd be sick i want to see that knocks in a movie yeah man and also, there is a scene in that video where you're holding a Starbucks cup. Mm. What's your favourite Starbucks? I can't lie to you, yeah. I don't really go to Starbucks <laughs> like that. Yeah, but okay, what was in that cup? Um, I think it was a hot chocolate, which was kind of dumb because like, that was like one of the hottest days of that <laughs> year. But yeah, that's what it was. Yo, smooth young brother finna let him know. Bump me in your drum, I blow your stereo. I should get a show like I'm on senior. And after every sentence, I say, Get me though. But they don't get me though. I see